I, I made a conscious decision when I moved here to sort of assimilate as best as possible, and I wouldn't sort of rely on stereotypes or like I wouldn't. I would try consciously not to like dwell on things. So I'd throw myself just as a, an individual person into our relationships with our friends, with our children, in our work, and just be Irish and know that for myself, but not let it color my whole existence, you know. Well, you use the word assimilation, and assimilation is a complicated story for most, yeah. for most people. What, say a little bit more about that. What, how, how did that work? Uh, well, obviously it's easier for me because I speak the language and we have a similar culture and we have a similar sort of appreciation of each other's history and stuff. So, it's, I mean, it's hard for me to comment on other people's experiences, but for me it was, I, I mean, I knew what to say and not say. I knew how to act and how not to act. And I can imagine how that would be a main field for other people. But I, I mean, just personally, I feel that it's very important if you are moving to another country and you're planning on settling in that country, you should make a special effort to, I mean, learn the language, you know, sort of learn whether you agree or don't agree with your neighbor's politics, how the, the, the government works, how society works. I mean, when we moved to Berlin, we had to, it was the only word for us because they wouldn't speak English to us. There was a lot of bureaucracy and we had to, as white Europeans, had to assimilate to that country. And it's just, and that's what you did. And I was, I feel like it's positive overall. I mean, you get a lot more out of it. I mean, you're learning skills. I mean, new languages are always, in this culture, I mean, useful to learn a language at least.